Hi, this is Stan Matthews, host of the Matthews TV broadcast and founder of the Inner Circle Professional Network. It takes a village to raise a child and a community to build healthy, wealthy businesses, professional practices, and community organizations. The Matthews TV broadcast enables urban consumers like you to support urban business owners, professionals, nonprofits, and community organizations that provide career opportunities, create jobs, and make urban communities great places to live, work, and raise a family. So please continue to watch the Whole Person Whole Community broadcast on Sunday evenings at 7 p.m. at www.thematthewsbroadcast.com. And oh yeah, tell 10 friends to watch the broadcast too. Heartfelt thanks for your continued friendship and support. The Matthews TV broadcast spotlights urban business owners, professionals, nonprofits, and creative artists and enables them to tell their success story and get the new clients strategic connections and community support they need to prosper and succeed. With our audience of more than a half million subscribers, 500 inner circle strategic partners, and the Comcast Xfinity premium promotional channels, including the Oprah Winfrey Network, BET, Lifetime, and the Hallmark Family Network. So step into the spotlight for business success right now and book your spotlight or legacy interview by calling us at 732-357-5701 or booking your reservation at www.thematthewsbroadcast.com. Hi, I'm Mayor Baraka of Newark, reminding you to shop urban and shop local to save time and money, get a higher level of customer service, create jobs, and build stronger families and communities. Remember to shop urban, shop local, and shop Newark. Remember to shop urban, shop local, and shop Newark. Hey everybody out there, this is Jen Montag, your host of Empower Hour Philadelphia. Uh, if you are just tuning in with us, I am back <clears throat> with three extraordinary thought lead leaders in digital branding, uh, finance, and publishing. I have to my left Ashley Paint Sill, founder of Ashley Lifestyle and Media, a full service creative consulting firm. I also have with us this evening Robert Pegues, entrepreneur, financial literacy ed educator, and public speaker. And lastly, but certainly not least, I have with me today Keith Davis, who is a poet uh, and also CEO of Bernard the Man Publishing Company. Thanks for being here, guys. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to start off with an icebreaker, uh, viewers out there, so that you can get to know my guests a little bit better. So all three of you guys are extremely creative, you know, to, to actually to run a consulting firm, um, Keith to be an accomplished poet, uh, Rob to have made a career in public speaking, you have to be creative. So what is the secret to your creativity? Ashley, I'll start with you. Well, um, I think the secret to my creativity, one, comes from God. You know, God is called the creator of the universe. Yeah. And so since he lives inside of me, I get that from there. And then also the family that I come from. Uh, we're musicians, we are in fashion, we are in music, we're in art, we do all sorts of different things in our family. Um, my dad's a pastor. Um, so we all have to create different things all the time. We are all constantly creating something. So I just live in a world where that happens. That's awesome. Me. So you're around visionaries all the time. Absolutely. So running a creative consulting firm, it's within your wheelhouse and, and it's you know something that comes very natural to you. Absolutely. Awesome. Well glad you're here with us. Thank you. Rob, your turn. What is the, the secret to your creative sauce? The secret to my creative sauce is first and foremost you have to be personable with people. People have to have your buy-in. You know when they understand that you actually being empathetic and sympathetic to them specifically then they'll be more open to talk to you. So when I'm in front of people and I'm talking to them about you know, financial literacy or life nuances, I'm given a personal touch. So they, I glean from that, and that's been helping me with my public speaking and also in the credit and finance space as well. So authenticity. Absolutely. And servant leadership. Very cool. Keith, 
Last but not least, what is the secret to your creativity? Well, first and foremost, it comes from the creator and also life experiences. I feel as though that if you haven't lived, you can't write anything. Mm. If you can't express yourself, you can't put anything down on paper. And you have to live your life. Things that I tell my children, things that I tell people on the street, live your life. And then if you live your life, you'll have something to talk about. And also be more informative to the, to the world around you. You know, as far as mass media, as far as people on the street, as far as everything around you, you have to absorb it. Because if you can't have an intelligent conversation with people, you can't connect with people. So that's basically what drives me. So Keith, let's stay with you for a minute. So you are a poet, you are a writer, you're a publisher. Um, tell us a little bit about how that started. How did you end up in this space? I've always wanted to create something. I just didn't know what until I went through some things and I didn't, I had to find an avenue to get it out of. You know, the first thing I was, was I loved to play basketball. I played basketball all my life. But kind of got drafted, got older, and I had to move to the next phase in my life, which was writing. My first, author, my first person, the first author I wrote was Langston Hughes that I, that I actually read. And it was one particular poem that really stayed home with me and I still stays with me. Life is, a, is not a uh, crystal stairs. And yeah. actually, I, I, it, it's just stuck with me and it's been my mantra for the rest of until my life now. And so I definitely was born into this, you know, and I definitely go out and spread this to other people, people who are lost, people who have not found their selves, and people who are looking for answers, you know, you might say I'm a street poet, you might say that I'm a person who loves information. So I definitely love to just talk with people and people have met ever they love they love to tell me everything they they're about. So, you know, it, it seemed like it was a good fit. Thank you, Keith. Rob, how about you? So let's let's talk a little bit about how your business or, or how your body of work was started. Okay. I actually have a background in banking and finance. Mm -hmm. And I used to work for Morgan Stanley. I'm actually a survivor of the 9-11 attack um, of the Twin Tower, 25th floor. Oh, uh, my. North Tower. And uh, with banking, I, I used to work for Bank of America and also was a manager with uh, Regions Bank. And I understood dealing with a lot of uh, clients that you had to have a good credit score in order to buy things in life. And that, you know, whether it's home ownership, whether it's getting an apartment, getting a good interest rate on a credit card or, or a vehicle, you have to have good credit. Um, I've, not to interrupt you, but I've heard the statement, you know, we are who our credit score says we are. Um, do you believe that? Uh, to what extent to you do you believe that? 100%. Your credit score is a vital sign. Just like when you go and get your annual checkup. You know, it's looking at how well you are, you know, fiscally. So if your credit score is low, and as I mentioned when we were talking before, you know, 63 million people have less than a 599 credit score. And when you look at it, a lot of people don't know their credit score or they are afraid to tackle the issues on their credit because they haven't been educated. You know, we're in an antiquated society, which is why I decided that in my business, I wanted to make sure I educated people. You know, we're taught, go to school, get good grades, get a good job, save for retirement. Well, we have to learn a different system. No longer the 45 year plan, but a two to three year plan. Become financially independent, become financially wealthy. So for me personally, it was a personal thing. I, as I took those things that I learned from banking and finance, I decided to make that a passion so when I'm going around speaking and educating, 
I've created a business for myself um, and aligned myself with a company that was able to help me fulfill that dream. Thank you, Rob. So let's add Ashley to this conversation. So Ashley, tell us a little bit about how Ashley Lifestyle and Media was started. Um, so next year will be my 10 years in the fashion industry um, as a writer. Um, but I was noticing that as I was working for other people, a lot of people would come to me personally for advice on what they should be doing with their companies. Um, so I realized that I do love working for myself. Um, and just decided that, you know, this year would be the year that I'm going to finally launch this. There's nothing like being an entrepreneur. So, Ashley, I'm going to stay with you. Um, what need are you solving for? Um, so, I'm solving for the need of being able to market creatively um, and to, you know, set up creative facets of your business. Um, everyone th has some form of creativity. They just don't know it, whether it's, you know, you're in banking. There's different ways you can do banking creatively. My dad's a pastor. He has to create messages. Mm. Some people have to create clothes. Um, we all have to create something. So I'm just here to kind of guide you through that process. Branding, messaging, Marketing. the visual side of it, Absolutely. everything. Yeah. I mean, media is everything. Communication everything. is everything. We all have to communicate our message. Um, and human beings are visual. So what people see is what they are going to judge you based off of. So um, I'm here to help you with that. And you might need to communicate the same message six or seven or eight different times exactly. in order to get the word out effectively. So I'm assuming your communication strategies would cover all of that. So who's a good client for you? Um, a good client is anybody who is struggling to, you know, figure out how to creatively do business. Um, and then also people who want to reach a younger market. Obviously, I'm young. Are so you a millennial? I, I am a millennial. I'm a millennial. <laughs> so I can understand how you can communicate to that market and help you effectively do that. Fantastic. Thank you, Ashley. Rob, same thing for you. Uh, what is the need that you are solving, and who is a good client for you? The need that I'm solving is for those <coughs> individuals who actually are struggling in their finances right now. We understand there are two scriptures that, you know, really stick out to me. One of them says that God gives you power to get wealth. The other one is that mm. money answers all things in the earth. You need those two things in order to operate efficiently so that you can go to the next level in your life. You also want to have a different lifestyle. In order to obtain that lifestyle, you got to get your credit right. That's fantastic. Thank you, Rob. Yeah. Keith, same question. Uh, what is the need that you are solving for, and who is a good client for you? The downtrodden, the confused, the people who need to find a niche in life, the people who need some type of direction, the people who need to be uplifted. We live in a community that is negative. They need positive images. They need positivity in their lives. They need somebody to touch them. You know, and that's my niche. That's my goal in life. That's what I was here to put here on earth for. Keith, how can the viewers out there reach you? You can reach me on all media, all social media, Facebook, Instagram, t uh, Twitter. Bernard DeMann, Keith B. Davis is my author page. You know, anybody who feels as though they, ha they, they are, need a voice, they need counsel, they need direction, I'm here for you. Thank you. Rob, how about you? How can the viewers out there get a hold of you if they're struggling with financial literacy issues, credit issues? How can they get a hold of you? You can get a hold of me at my website, www.robpegues.com. That's spelled P as in Paul, E as in Eric, G-U-E-S. You can also reach me on Instagram at Rob Pegues. You can reach me on Twitter at Rob Pegues. You can also reach me on Facebook at I am Rob Pegues. And you can call me directly, area code 213-340-5516, and I will return your call within 24 hours. Thank you, Rob. Last, but definitely not least, Ms. Ashley Paintsill. Um, Ashley, for small business owners out there that need help with their messaging, uh, building their brand, telling their story, 
et cetera, et cetera, how can they reach out to you? Um, you can reach out to me by emailing me. It's the easiest way. So my email is Ashley, A-S-H-L-E-Y dot Paintsil, P-A-I-N-T-S-I-L-1 at gmail.com. Wonderful. Ashley, Rob, Keith, thank you so much for being here with me tonight. Thank you. Good job, guys. Hi, I'm Mayor Frank Moran of the great city of Camden, reminding you to shop urban and shop local to save time and money, get a higher level of customer service, create jobs and build stronger families and communities. Remember to shop urban and shop local, shop Camden. Remember, shop urban, shop local, and to shop Camden. Hi, this is Stan Matthews, host of the Matthews TV broadcast and founder of the Inner Circle Professional Network. It takes a village to raise a child and a community to build healthy, wealthy businesses, professional practices, and community organizations. The Matthews TV broadcast enables urban consumers like you to support urban business owners, professionals, nonprofits, and community organizations that provide career opportunities, create jobs, and make urban communities great places to live, work, and raise a family. So please continue to watch the Whole Person Whole Community broadcast on Sunday evenings at 7 p.m. at www.thematthewsbroadcast.com. And oh yeah, tell 10 friends to watch the broadcast too. Heartfelt thanks for your continued friendship and support. The Matthews TV broadcast spotlights urban business owners, professionals, nonprofits, and creative artists and enables them to tell their success story and get the new clients strategic connections and community support they need to prosper and succeed. With our audience of more than a half million subscribers, 500 inner circle strategic partners, and the Comcast Xfinity premium promotional channels, including the Oprah Winfrey Network, BET, Lifetime, and the Hallmark Family Network. So step into the spotlight for business success right now and book your spotlight or legacy interview by calling us at 732-357-5701 or booking your reservation at www.thematthewsbroadcast.com.